I've been in the Army Air Corps for nearly 30 years now. Much of that time I've been lucky enough to meet many members of the Glider Pilot Regiment. And I've spent many a, an hour talking to them and listening to the stories of their exploits during all of the airborne operations of World War II. Des, you, you were just describing the Battle of the White House, which is part of the big perimeter battle. What were conditions like in the, in the White House? Oh, pretty grim, that's well, right. Certainly after 24 hours. In fact, when we got out, when we left the area, there were dead British and dead uh, Germans in the same room, so you can see it was a pretty vicious battle, nearly hand to hand. About 15 years ago, I promised that I would uh, capture their stories, particularly those relating to Operation Market Garden and the battle in and around Arnhem and Oosterbeek. It's taken two years. With the assistance of my friend Luke Boost, we've now produced glider pilots at Arnhem. So these flying soldiers went into battle in September 1944, flying the gliders that carried 1st Airborne Division. Once on the ground, they fought alongside the men they'd carried into battle and were involved in every facet of the epic struggle that took place around Arnhem Bridge and later around the little town of Oosterbeek. And they were even used to mark the route of the withdrawal when 1st Airborne Division withdrew, shattered back across the Rhine at the end of that phenomenal battle that we all know is the Battle of Arnhem.